السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام اهلا من دكتور يزن معك معك دكتور يا عيني راح اعمل لك كو هوست تمام دكتور تمام هل أنت كوهوست؟ تمام دكتور حتى الريكورد يكون عليه شاشة واضحة Okay, we can start. Today we'll start four lectures regarding the specific types of infections. Starting with the blood stream infections. The aims of this lecture are to define certain terms. Bacteremia. Fungemia or fungemia, sepsis, and septic shock, and to see the differences between them. The second aim to identify the roots of bacterial entrance to the blood, how bacteria could enter to the blood. The third, discuss the important causes of bacteremia in details. And the details will be regarding what types of bacteria will be encountered, whether gram positive, gram negative, or anaerobic bacteria. We will talk first about gram positive and gram negative, and then we postpone the anaerobic bacteria to the end of the lecture because it is very special entity. What are the risk factors for bacteremia? Diagnosis and management of bacteremia and sepsis. And then lastly, to discuss briefly the causes of cardiocirculatory, cardiocirculatory system infection in general, heart and circulation. Mainly will be about the blood. The blood is part of the cardiocirculatory system. Starting with the bloodstream infection. What is bacteremia? Bacterial infection of the blood. It means bacteria is present in the blood. What about fungemia? Fungal infection of the blood. You have to know that the blood is a tissue. Yes? And lastly, what is sepsis? And what is septic shock later on? Sepsis is an inflammatory immune response. So sepsis, it is an immune response. Due to what? Due to infection of the blood, including due to infection of the blood or in tissues, including bacterial, most common causes of sepsis. Sepsis can be caused by bacteria, fungi, viral, protozoa, and the infection is of a primary organ, as lung, brain, UTI. So 
I will have a primary organ infected. Then bacteria goes to the blood. And thirdly, sepsis will be sort of inflammatory response to those bacteria which are present in the primary organ and in the blood. Sepsis bima'na at-tasammum. Tasammum al-dam. So it is an inflammatory immune response. Due to what? Due to the presence of bacteria in the blood or in organs. Organs like what? Lung, brain, UTI. So bacteremia, bacterial infection of the blood. Fungemia, fungal infection of the blood. Sepsis is an inflammatory response. Again, it's what? Again, it's microorganisms, organisms. Most commonly bacteria. Could be fungus, could be viral, could be protozoa, parasite. Protozoa, be manna parasite, that are present in the primary organs. Lungs, brain, UTI. Sepsis characterizes by three things. This is according to the recent information. An increase in a breathing rate, which we call it a tachypnea, increase in a breathing rate, change in level of consciousness. The patient will be a sort of changing in consciousness. في وعي المريض يعني يبدأ المريض يتغير من ناحية الوعي إلى أن يفقد الوعي في النهاية. Coma. And low blood pressure. Once you get low blood pressure, it will be septic shock. So sepsis can lead to septic shock. And I will come back to this point later on. The roots of bacterial entrance to the blood, menjaya al bacteria. Infection source, yani free organ infected, like pneumonia, infection of the lung, meningitis, iltihab al sahaya, meninges. They then and the focus of infection, من هالفوكس هذا تخش البكتيريا إلى البلد. Surgery. Example: surgery on the GI tract, gastrointestinal tract, especially when involving the mucous membranes. So a microorganism will escape to the blood via the mucous membranes. Catheter. Central line catheter. Central line, يعني في catheter and the central area, uh, for example, a superior vena cava. This is called central line. It's different from the peripheral lines in the arm, central line. Uh, so there is good possibility that microorganism could enter to the blood through central line. Foreign body, intravenous drug abusers or abuse. Those are المدمنين على المخدرات اللي يستعملوا needles and syringes for injection of these drugs. Dental procedures. Extraction of a tooth, for example. Okay, so these are the ways how, the common ways, and there are other ways, of course. So infection, surgery, catheter, foreign body, and dental procedure. Could lead to sepsis and septic shock. Due to the presence of what? Due to the presence of pathogen in the blood, and tissues, tissues like lung, meninges, etc., as I said. <clears throat> so remember that there is hematogenous spread of bacteria to other tissues or organs. Once there is spread through the blood of bacteria to different tissues, it will cause a disease. 
this spread of bacteria, it will cause a disease. Like what? Like infective endocarditis. التهاب الغشاء الداخلي للقلب. Infective endocarditis. بأي طريقة من هذه الطرق ممكن تخش البكتيريا إلى البلد ومن البلد to different organs including for example the heart and you get infective endocarditis فإذا البكتيريا ممكن تدخل البلد via these routes infection surgery catheter for own body or dental procedure والبكتيريا هذه ممكن تروح to different organs and cause sepsis and septic shock. Causes of bacteremia. Bacteremia can be acquired from two routes or two ways. Healthcare associated in hospitals. إلها علاقة مع وجود المريض في المستشفى مثلا حكينا سنترال لاين سنترال لاين يوضع بالمستشفى سو هيلث كير اسوشيتد ذا سكند واي كوميونتي اكوايرد من خلال حياه الانسان ضمن المجتمع ياخذ عدوى يصاب بمرض مثل نيمونيا والنيمونيا من النيمونيا ذير uh, بي هيماتوجينس سبريد of the microorganism. The types of bacteria involved in bacteremia, gram negative anaerobic bacteria. We are going to concentrate on bacteria. Also fungi can cause it, viruses can cause it, parasites can cause it like protozoa. But the main cause of these bloodstream infections is bacterial causes, which are the most important and the most common. That is why I am going to concentrate on bacterial causes. Starting with the gram positive bacteria. Into Samin Bihala al bacteria ahna mudanishrah al bacteria hadi. Then ishrah wujud habil blood. It's the presence in the blood. So the first microorganism which is very commonly encountered in bacteremia is Staphylococcus aureus. Commonly is health associated. شو معناتها health associated يعني في المستشفيات أو بالمراكز الصحية. But it can be community acquired. نحن مو عنقول أنه غير موجودة community acquired. لا. But most commonly acquired via uh, health associated entrance. The main source, يعني منين جاية Staphylococcus aureus in the blood, always you should ask a question from where? بالنسبة لل Staphylococcus aureus, from where? It could come from the skin, skin infections, boils, حبيبات, it contains pus in the skin, for example, boils and abscesses. Also, intravenous root, زي ما حكينا drug abusers. دول اللي يتعطوا المخدرات. Or from infected organs. Infected organs contain uh, staphylococcus. Aureus, and then from there it will spread to the blood. Example, for example, pneumonia. And from pneumonia it will go to the blood. So Staphylococcus aureus is a very important cause of bacteremia. Streptococci, you know there are different groups and the species of Streptococci. The most important a group A, Streptococcus, which is called sometimes Streptococcus pyogenes. Group A, Streptococcus beta hemolytic. It causes complete hemolysis on the blood agar. 
Remember, Group A is a trip to Caucasus, called sometimes GAS. It comes usually from a skin and soft tissues. For example, it can come, it goes to the blood from the tonsils. It's important cause of tonsillitis. This GIS is very important. Aham sabab filtihab al lawzatayn huwa a group isotriptococcus. It can spread from there to the blood or it can spread from the skin. There are varieties of infections of the skin which are caused by a GIS. A group B streptococcus. A group B streptococcus is very important in neonates. It also it is also beta hemolytic. A group B streptococcus important in neonates. Remember this point. In neonate, the most important microorganism among gram-positive bacteria is a group B, streptococcus. And there is a group of streptococci called viridens group streptococci. Viridens is not a species, different species. So viridens group, we say. From dental extraction, this is commensal microorganism, part of the normal flora in the mouth. So if a patient have dental extraction, or chewing, eating, anything in the mouth, okay, uh, it can cause the spread of this group of microorganism to the blood. This is commonly occur daily during eating, for example. And if a patient have got bad teeth, bad dentition, we call it, these microbes could spread to the blood. If they are a few microorganisms, the immune system could clear them. So Tryptococcus bovis, it is generally speaking associated with large bowel cancer colon cancer. Once you find streptococcus bovis in the blood, you have to check the patient for what? For cancer of the colon. Very important sign. كأنما تتعطي لك فد هند فد إشي ملاحظة تقول لك انتبه there is bowel cancer. Cancer in the colon. Streptococcus bovis when present in the blood. And the, from the blood, it can, go, it can go to the heart and cause endocarditis, infective endocarditis. From the name, you can see infective endocarditis. التهاب الغشاء الداخلي للقلب. Gram negative bacteria. There are many microorganisms, again, can cause uh, bacteremia. I am talking about the most important bacteria that cause bacteremia. So we have spoken about staph and citrypto with the gram positive. You can ask me, are there any other bacteria that can cause bacteremia? Yes, there are many, but I am giving you the most important. The most important among the gram-negative E. coli, Escherichia coli. 75% of the cases of gram-negative bacteremia are due to E. coli. Commonly, the E. coli comes from urinary tract infection, UTI. What is UTI? Urinary tract infection. Iltihab al-masalik al so the main cause, main bacteria is E. coli. Pseudomonas aeruginosa, which is very important microorganism. And remember, Pseudomonas aeruginosa is very resistant to antibiotics. 
Eclipsial anemone. Again, another microorganism which is important. It can cause pneumonia, and from pneumonia, it can spread to the blood. A Proteus mirabilis, very important, can cause urinary tract infection again. Salmonella, mainly in HIV patient or elderly patient. Kibarasin. A primary infection is commonly present in all of these. And you have a primary infection, for example, in urinary tract, pneumonia, burn in pseudomonas. In pseudomonas, muhimma bil burn fil huruq. Proteus mirabilis, UTI, salmonella in the GI tract. And from there, these microbes can spread to the blood. Sources of these gram negative bacteria, 25% of cases health associated, half of the cases community acquired, and the other 25%, it could be from different sources. Usually gram negative bacteremia is more common in elderly people, individuals, individuals, who are more than 65 years of age. What are the risk factors for bacteremia? How we get bacteremia in certain individuals and why? Reduced immunity. واحد مناعته قليلة. طبعا يعني the microorganism will have a good chance to spread to the blood. Like what? HIV patient who are infected with a human immunodeficiency virus. اللي سبب الأيدز. Diabetic patient, diabetes mellitus. DM معناتها diabetes mellitus. داء السكري. Steroid therapy, corticosteroid. تخفض المناعة. Immunosuppressive drugs, many immunosuppressive drugs. I hope that you had some of these drugs in your pharmacology. Again, a transplantation. In a transplantation, we give immunosuppressive drug. حتى لا يصير rejection, حتى لا يصير رفض للأعضاء المزروعة. The transplantation also could be associated with bacteremia. Chronic diseases, patients have liver failure, TB, tuberculosis, يعني, داء السل. Chronic hemodialysis, hemodialysis معناتها غسل الكلى. كثير من المرضى يبقى سنوات طويلة على غسل الكلى. These patients are susceptible for bacteremia, لأنه دائما يحطوه على جهاز الغسل عن طريق الدم هيمو يعني عن طريق الدم because there are other types of dialysis through peritoneum for example but uh, these patients who are on chronic hemodialysis uh, have a great chance to get bacteria asplenia without spleen a it means without how the patient gets uh, aspirinia, aspirinectomy, removal of the spleen. For example, a patient has car accident and injury to the spleen, so they remove the spleen, spleenectomy, or splenic infarction, SPL or infarction. Infarction it means a blockage of the of blood supply as it could happen in sickle cell anemia crisis. We call it sickle cell crisis. Fil anemia al menjaliya. Yahsal a block, little blood supply, taba uh, spleen, and it becomes infarcted. And the spleen will be damaged greatly. شخص اللي ما عنده سبلين جهاز المناعة عنده يضعف 
ويكون هنالك تشانس لدخول البكتيريا الى الدم ولهذا السبب هذول المرضى اللي عندهم اسبلينيا وي بوت ذيم اون لايف لونج انتي بايوتيك بروفيلاكسس لمنع البكتيريميا او اذر انفكشن ارتفيشال هارت فالفز شخص مزروع عنده فالف للقلب اصطناعي They are more susceptible to get infection in the blood, bacteremia. Okay, so these are the main risk factors: reduced immunity, chronic diseases, asplenia, artificial heart valves. Diagnosis of bacteremia: blood culture. The main, the most important thing is to do blood culture. is the main test for bacteremia. But remember, problem of contamination from vini puncture. يعني واحد من ياخذ دم من المريض إذا ما ياخذها بطريقة نظامية يصير contamination. وهذا ال contamination يعني ممكن يعطيك نتيجة خاطئة. Therefore, we use alcohol-based antiseptic for cleaning of the area where we are going to put our needle. And I will show you a picture for that. We usually take two blood culture from two different sites. يعني مو من نفس المكان. جايز واحد من المكانتين يتلوث ولهذا السبب نأخذ اثنين. Two blood culture from two different sites. واحد نأخذ من إيد اليمين والثاني نأخذ مثلا من إيد اليسار. If both cultures are positive, this is bacteremia. Surely bacteremia. If one, it is in doubt, في شك, ليكون contamination. Why we do blood culture to confirm the infectious etiology? نقول هذه بكتيريا أو فنجاي أو بروتوزوا etc. بعد عشر دقائق إذا ما نخلص نجدد دخولنا مرة ثانية على اللينك. The second to identify the etiology: what type of bacteria? Gram positive, gram negative. If a gram negative, what sort of bacteria, E. coli, others, and so on. And also to guide antibiotic therapy. You know, if we do culture, we do sensitivity tests for the antibiotics. نقدر نعرف الانتبايتك الافكتيف اجينس هذه البكتيريا. So blood culture is the main test. Other test could be useful. Special test required for a specific organ. يعني مريض مثلاً عنده infective endocarditis. Ultrasound, U.S. معناته ultrasound. الفحص بالموجات فوق الصوتية. في جهاز معين يفحص for infective endocarditis, which is present in the heart. It will give you a clue that there is infection in the heart by presence, for example, of vegetation. كتل من الميكروبس. Ultrasound. We do use automated blood culture system. يعني هذا هو جهاز اللي نضع ب blood culture. هاي التيوبات اللي نسحبها. شوف نسحب. شوف هون النيرس أو الدكتور. Wearing gloves and mask, will area cleaned, cleaned with alcohol-based antiseptic. What can mutahhar the area? And in peace, it may not be contamination. No, we put the blood in these tubes, and these tubes we put them in automated system. The automated system means that the blood culture system is automated. 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 من يشوف البلاد كلتشر يصير تيربد ينطيك بليب صوت يصفر الجهاز تعرف عندك بوزيتيف سامبل 
automated a blood culture system. Anaerobic bacteria. حكينا أنه الأنيروبيك بكتيريا special entity. The incidence of anaerobes bacteria, anaerobic bacteria to cause bacteremia is about 4 to 15 percent. It depends on the setting, depends on the hospital, depends on the environment, depends on the area. 4 percent to 15 percent. Nisbetha among a total bacteremia. The main causes, these are all anaerobic bacteria. Anaerobic. Well, you have a suburb, too bad, Elina Hodha, Nazra, aerobic or anaerobic. Aham Wahda, 75% among anaerobes, Bacillus fragilis. Gram negative bacteria, which are capsulated. Bacillus fragilis. Clostridium species. For example, Clostridium tetani. Pyptocytriptococcus. Fusobacterium. Or propionibacterium acne. It is acne. Hab shabab. Or propionibacterium. Propionibacterium acne. Which is a rare cause for. Uh, anaerobic bacteremia. In neonate, bacteroids, clostridium, including clostridium botulinum. Clostridium botulinum تعمل food poisoning. بس في نفس الوقت ممكن تعمل skin infection. A clostridium uh, general, clostridium uh, species, Clostridium tetani can cause it. Uh, Clostridium tetani يعني اللي تعمل مرض التتنس اللي هي مرض الجزاز أكيد سامعين بمرض الجزاز واحد من ينجرح ويتلوث الجرح تخش هذه البكتيريا. So Clostridium botulinum can enter via the uh, skin to the blood. Management of anaerobic bacteria. قسم من هذه البكتيريا مثلا Clostridium botulinum, Clostridium tetani تفرز توكسين. التوكسين هو هو المهم اللي يعمل دامج بالبودي. فإذا we have to give antitoxin to neutralize the toxin حتى نعادل التوكسين. Antitoxin. Antimicrobial therapy. الانتيبايوتكس اللي اللي تكون مؤثرة على الانيروبيك بكتيريا ميترونيدازول اللي هو الفلاجيل ميترونيدازول كلندامايسين حكينا الكلندامايسين يأثر على الانيروبيك سيفوكسيتين بنسلين بلس ماينس جلافيولانيك أسيد الجلافيولانيك أسيد إذا ضيفه مع البنسلين يحميه من تأثير البيتا lactamases enzyme because beta lactamase enzyme can destroy penicillin if you combine it with a glavulanic acid it will protect the penicillin from beta lactamases destruction doxycycline also can be used or you can use combination of these drugs you can use, for example, metronidazole and doxycycline, metronidazole and penicillins and so forth. We are talking about anaerobic bacteria. It requires anaerobic condition without oxygen. يعني. Deep tissue, injured tissue, necrotic tissue, until you can spread to the blood. Then if you give hyperbaric oxygen therapy chamber, هذه هي chamber. كان ما يوضع المريض في داخل هاي chamber وبيا oxygen بنسبة عالية. شوف هذول المرضى هذه room special for hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Okay. فإذا من نعطي الأكسجين راح يكون الظرف غير ملائم لنمو الأنيروبيك بكتيريا. 
so it will be inhibited and killed the anaerobic bacteria. Bacterial infections of the cardiocellular system, there are rare bacteria which can cause diseases also in the cardiocellular system. بالإضافة اللي تكلمنا عليه ريكيتسيا which are obligate intracellular organisms which can cause spotted fever سابقا كانوا يسموها روكي ماونتن فيبر spotted fever راح أشوفكم صورة لها تايفوس مو تايفويد تايفوس مرض التيفوس endemic or epidemic can also these microbes can cause a cardiocirculatory system bacterial infection. Borrelia, Borrelia burkhardtferi, بس احفظوا Borrelia, which can cause Lyme disease, which is common in the United States, for example. Borrelia, Yersinia, pestis, which are gram-negative cocoa bacilli, which has bipolar staining. The microbes, cocoa bacilli, تنصبوا من الجهتين راح أشوفكم صورة لها. بليغ مرض الطاعون. مرض الطاعون الآن في الكلة الأرضية نادر جدا النيمونيك تايب. البيوبونيك يعني تبع الليمف نود. تبع الليمف نود still very few cases. بليغ مرض الطاعون. اللي يسمى سابقا بلاك ديث الموت الاسود بليغ تسكوز باي يرسينيا بيستس This is these are the rashes which are called rocky mounted spotted fever rash of spotted fever caused by rickettsia This is bull eye, shabih bil'ayn al-bull, in Lyme disease, which is called erythema migrans. Erythema titahawwal, min makan ila makan. Characteristic of يزن معي؟ هذا دكتور معك آه راح أسوي كوهوس مرة ثانية حتى تكمل التسجيل ما باقي لنا دقائق تمام دكتور احكي يا زين حتى يطلع صوتك تمام دكتور هسه عملت الكوهوس اوكي تمام دكتور يعطيك العافية تمام اوكي كنت أحكي على الإريثيما مايغران. This is erythema مايغران is part of the Lyme disease. بس هيك حتى تعرفوا يعني شو موجود. هذه اليرسينيا بيستس. شوف عليها كوكو باسلاي. 
بها باي بولر ستينينج من هون صبغة من هالبول يعني من الجهتين صبغة من هون وصبغة من هون سيفتي بن يعني زي الدبوسة اللي بي راس راس الدبوس هذا رايت ستين هي طبعا المايكرو اورجانيزم جرام نيجاتيف بس هذه مو جرام بوزيتيف هون هذا رايت ستين هو لون الصبغة ازرق and that's it any question any question شباب صبايا كلير؟ الله يعطيك العافية دكتور الله يعافيك يعني في كويستشن؟ توضيح موضوع كلش بسيط حاولت أن أشرح لكم بطريقة مبسطة ويجمع لك مواضيع يعني أنتوا الآن يعني أنهيتوا تقريبا كورس المايكروبيولوجي الجنرال فقادرين ان تاخذوا هيك مواضيع. وموضوع سهل ولذيذ وما في اي تعقيدات ستريت فورورد. بكتيريميا مرات وي سي سبتيسيميا سبسس اند سبتيك شوك فيري امبورتنت. This is the blood culture system. Okay. No questions? If you have uh, no question, uh, we have to end this lecture and hope to see you again, inshallah. Have a nice day. Assalamu alaikum. Allah